Welcome to Winsouls TV. This is your host, Jeff Thomas, and I have something amazing for you guys today. So, just last, just this past weekend, I spent some time um, at a conference, at a Michael Van Vlyman Supernatural Conference. Uh, it was titled, The Supernatural in These End Times. And let me tell you, that atmosphere at that church in Maryland is absolutely beyond belief. I'm telling you right now, the Spirit of God was moving in there so strong that as soon as I would enter into that that place, it was very difficult for me to not cry um, in terms of uh, the, the expression of the spirit that was moving inside of me. I mean, it was beyond belief. Michael Van Vlyman and his wife, um, uh, Gordana uh, Van Vlyman, work as, a, as an amazing team together. And um, Lord, I just hope that the Lord just continues to bless them and both of their ministries and their anointings and their calling and everything. But while there, uh, there was a prayer of impartation that uh, they had given out. And let me tell you, I had always been struggling with entering in concerning waiting on, on God. Usually uh, a lot of people will, will wait on the Lord and you know, the experiences that they uh, gain through waiting on the Lord opens their spiritual eyes. They go up to heaven and come back, you know, this, that and the other. Well, of course, naturally, I wanted it too. you know, um, concerning, you know, supernatural travel, uh, just like, you know, the Lord took Enoch, just like the Lord took John, just like the Lord, you know, worked with Paul, whether he was in, in the body or out of the body, he does not know. All of those specific things, I wanted. I want those experiences to those experiences as well, you know. So I go to the conference and everything, and 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 he's just sharing these amazing testimonies, and I wanted a piece of that too. This video is titled "How to Wait on the Lord," and it's three simple steps. So let's go to the Word. The Word tells us in Matthew. 6-6, six, six. but when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Now, you know, you read that and you just kind of glance over it, you know, like that's, you know, whatever, you know, uh, duh, you, you, maybe you, you do want your quiet time with the Lord, so get in the room and close the door. Do not take that for granted because that is step number one. Go into a quiet room, close that door, and prepare yourself for something intimate with the Lord. Step number two. Some people have a prayer chair. Some people get in the bed to do this. Some people lie on the floor. For me, I've done two of those, lying on the bed and lying on the floor. But regardless of whatever it is that you do, you want to get into a comfortable position to where you can wait on the Lord. It can be on your knees. It can be on the floor. But be in a position to where your body is configured in such a way that it is not a distraction to you when it comes to focusing solely on the Lord. Now, we should always be in a state of focusing on the Lord, and we should always be prayerful at all times, uh, praying in the Spirit, praying without ceasing. But in this specific time, we are waiting for the Lord to show us something uh, specific to us, take us somewhere, regardless of whatever it is, we are putting that in our hand, in His hands. And step number three, the, the, the toughest part about uh, waiting on the Lord is the fact that it seems like once we get in that quiet place, all of these thoughts just bombard us. And it's just like, man, I wasn't even thinking about all of this stuff. But as soon as I close my eyes and really tune in to, to what the Lord wants me to do or how to do this or whatever, asking the Lord to show me something or just praising the Lord and, and, and thanking the Lord. It seems like all of these thoughts throughout the day are just coming to me. Oh, well, I got to take care of this. I got to do that. And that was my biggest struggle, uh, quieting my own mind. But there is a pastor 
and I just recently watched one of his videos. His name is Tom Loud, and I will put the video in the description, the link to the video in the description. And he teaches you how to calm your mind to a place where you can easily and almost instantly focus on the Lord. And you can do this throughout the day. You can do this while you're waiting on the Lord. You can do this whenever you want to. But the first part of part number three is quieting your mind. So you tell your mind, you take authority over your mind. Mind, I put you in submission to my spirit. And then part two of step number three is spirit, take me to the father. Take me to the father. And while you are in that rested position, your mind is now in a place where it is in submission to the spirit, which is literally the Holy Spirit. And so now you're asking the Holy Spirit to take you to the father. And by doing that, now that 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 pathway to where usually you have to wrestle with your mind, you have to try and beat it into submission in order to in order to, to solely focus on the Lord while you're waiting on him. Now you don't have that. So now it's, 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 it's an immediate, you know, pathway to the Lord. And, you know, your focus is solely on the Lord now to focus. So step number one was get into a quiet place. Close the door behind you. Nobody with you Two, get comfy. And then three, silence your mind and put it into submission because the mind is the part of the soul that Satan likes to attack us with. So with that said, I really hope that that blesses you guys. And uh, please, you know, begin waiting on the Lord just to see what he has to show you guys. And also, if you have not gotten this book, go get this book. Waiting on God by Michael Van Vlyman. This book will bless you. And if you want deeper experiences with the Lord, this is definitely the way to go. And then if you want a deeper understanding of what waiting on God is, this is the way to go. You guys be blessed and have a good one.